Okay, let's take a look at how uh, one approach to making a slot to fit style um, book stand or picture stand or etc. So first thing is that I want, if it's going to be a slot to fit, I want my width typically to be about 50% greater than the item that I expect to um, the stand to support. So let's say I have a 30 millimeter uh, thick book. I might do a 45 uh, wide here and I'm going to go out quite a bit and then let's say that my um, my book is about you know 250 260 millimeters high. Okay so and what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that shape so uh, control D. I'm going to lift it up about a centimeter and then that copy I'm going to extend out quite a bit like that. Okay and we'll see why we're doing this in a second. So then I'm going to group those two shapes with my control G or the button here. Great. And then I'm going to uh, tilt this over I'm going to stay within my degree rings. That gets me to an, uh, 22 and a half degrees. And I'm going to lift it up uh, about a centimeter. Oops, no, a little bit. Yeah. So it needs to be a good centimeter or so off the work plane. I'll use my arrow key and kind of get that over a bit. OK. So um, why are we doing it this way? So let's, let's get out one of the. Uh, the arms of the stand. So typically um, the stand should come about two-thirds of the way up the back of the, of the item. So I'm going to lift it up here, extend it out. Um, I'm going to make this three millimeters wide. I, I find that's a pretty good value there. Um, and it's a little tricky to get. There we go. Got, got that. So you can see we're starting to get our profile of the stand. That's at least um, two thirds of the way up. Yep, I'm liking all this. Okay, and then I'm gonna um, got a dog barking in the background. I'm gonna shorten that to maybe in there, um, a little bit more. So for the slot to fit, it's got you got to have a little uh, leeway up top. Oops. Teddy, chill. There we go. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's, that's looking good. Yeah, this dog is not happy. Okay, so now you can see how the profile is cut out pretty nicely there. So now I'm going to group those. Boom. And we're most of the way there already. So I could do some interesting cutouts. So I might, you know, do something like you know, like that, turn turn this into a hole. I could, you know, sort of cut out or do some other cool stuff. I could, you know, cut out some of this. Um, whoops. There we go. So, um, trying to drop that down. Hello, there we go. Right, so, um, you know, that would be kind of a nice uh, angle for the front there. I'm gonna do all that stuff here, let's group that. Group, okay, and then this thing is 197 uh, tall. So what I need are slots holes that are half of that 98.5 high and I want to make sure that my width here is three so and if you're designing oops it's not what I, yeah it was that there we go um, so if you're designing for laser cutting same deal you want the the, the slot here to be the same width as your material or a tiny bit more. 
you know, laser cutting, you might want it to be a tiny bit more depending on the material and stuff like that. So then, um, yeah, it's looking pretty good. All right, so let's take that. We're going to duplicate that. Control D. Got my copy. This one, all we do is we say, okay, same deal, except we're going to align to the top. So I'm going to select the top of my align options here and boom, we're in business. If I group that and I can group that and that'll show us that we've got a slot to fit um, book stand. I would want to 3D print. I would want to, you know, uh, rotate, drop and do the same thing for the other one here. And then we're going to be able to, uh, to print these and they will slot to fit very nicely. Um, and, uh, and again, we can do sort of more interesting things perhaps in, in this area, but that's the general idea. Okay, for a 3D printed stand, like an upright stand, um, I have sort of the luxury of saying, okay, let's get the exact dimensions of my book or whatever the item is. So let's let's pretend that it's, uh, uh, you know, maybe it's a 32 millimeter book. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with like 36, um, and and when I have my book shape, I'm gonna duplicate it, lift that up uh, a centimeter or so. And then I'm going to extend the copy out a um, bit more, probably. All right, now I've got my cutout. So let's group that. All right, good. And I'm going to rotate that 22 and a half degrees. And I'm going to lift that up uh, again, at least a centimeter off the work plane. Okay. So that's the sort of the profile of the book and then the sort of cutout of, of for the book. So now we can just sort of play around with how we want our stand to appear. I want it to be pretty high, at least two thirds of the uh, height of the book. Um, and what I can do is then extend this out and you can now see my profile for the front. Um, and so that's gonna work pretty well. Let's grab the back here, there you go. So I'm actually gonna then say, okay, let's rotate this by 22 and a half degrees, duplicate it, so that's control uh, D and then up here we have the mirror or just type an M. I want a mirror in this direction. So it's effectively, it's flipping it, you know, it was 22 and a half degrees. And if I mirror like this, now it's basically, we've got a 45 degree opening and that's gonna give us a really healthy stand there. Um, maybe I'll move that over a bit more. Excellent. Okay. And then, and then from here, so then, you know, this is nice because the, um, the when I group this, it's going to be cut into the pieces at the, at the exact angle that the book will be at, which is pretty cool. Um, this is looking a little thin to me right here. So I'm actually going to move that over a couple bumps and one more, a few millimeters. Okay. Now I'm going to group Awesome. And then all, all that's left now is to make interesting bridges um, between the two pieces here. And if I wanted to put some kind of message down here, like author of the month or please uh, sign in or featured speaker, whatever, that would go there. I could do something like um, put in a hole. Let's rotate that. Hit control D. And lift that up, uh, move it over. And shrink it maybe a little bit. And then, 
right? And that actually might be a neat profile right there. Let's group all that. There we go. All right, and then I'm gonna have a pretty solid structure here for my, my stand. And again, I could do something like place a um, shape down here. If I wanted some text down below, I could, that would just be a good place to do it. And I could have um, whatever my text might need to be. If I want to, um, right, so you could plop text down there. If um, I want to trim off this end here, um, here's a kind of a cool way to do it. So I'm going to grab a work plane tool up here, place it on, you can, again, this is so cool. You can make anything the work plane. So I'm going to make the, this red side here the work plane. Then I'm just going to drop a box that's a hole on top. Okay, so that's it. It comes on, you know, flush. And then I'm going to uh, shift click on the blue. So now the hole and this blue shape are both selected. Group them. It just trimmed it right off, right? So I could have my text here. I could do the same thing for the text, actually. It'd be probably better. So delete that. Um, I'm going to make the face of the wedge here the, uh, the work plane. Now when I bring on something it's uh, you know straight to the work plane and then I can put in like you know author of the month or whatever my message uh, I might want to have. Same procedure for trimming trimming this end off here if I wanted to. All right, there you go. There's uh, two methods of making uh, book stands, picture stands, etc.